we are watching State versus Hannah Gutierrez. She is the armorer from the set of Rust where Alec Baldwin fatally shot cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injured Joel Souza. As a quick summary, I was listening to court in the car yesterday. They are doing all foundational evidentiary items. So the uh, the witness that is on the stand or resuming on the stand this morning is moving into evidence item by item each round that was recovered on set some recovered from the cart some recovered from the mary Kay bag here there everywhere so it is marking all of those things into evidence it is laying the foundation for later witnesses but also going through what is a live round what is a dummy round what shakes what doesn't shake it's kind of tedious evidence it's whenever you get the witness that has to mark every single minute item into evidence it is slow it is boring. It is necessary. What are we here for today? We have questions. We have questions about this case, and I hope the evidence answers those questions. And if it doesn't, then you know what we have? Doubt. The morning of day two of the Hannah Gutierrez Reed trial. She is the armorer from the set of rest where Alec Baldwin fatally shot Helena Hutchins was a lot of laying foundation for other evidence. So the morning started with the crime scene tech that recovered all of the ammunition, the guns, the gun belts, all the things that were on set, marked those all into evidence. We also saw from a person who was doing video production of the behind the scenes of the making of Rust, and they marked into evidence videos that they filmed. And the last witness this morning was a witness going through the cell bright cell phone dump of Hannah Gutierrez Reed's phone and some of the text messages back and forth that seemed to indicate that Hannah Gutierrez Reed was smoking weed in the jacuzzi the night before this shooting, before she went back to work and the conversation being had between her and seemingly her dad, but maybe not because the dad Kula might have been somebody else. But that is what we were seeing at the end, and we will be getting into the Cellbrite cell phone dump a little bit more in the afternoon session of court. Of course, the prosecution said, this witness will be fast, and an hour later, it's like, we're going to lunch. And that's where we left off this morning. Lots and lots of foundation being laid for evidence that's going to come in later. It's the afternoon of day two of the state versus Hannah Gutierrez and court only ran for about an hour this afternoon and finished up just two witnesses. And then a whole bunch of something happened that we don't know. But the afternoon session started with the judge yelling at court TV for showing the text message exhibits on screen and then yelling that somebody had taken a, or seeming annoyed that somebody had taken a picture of them. But um, of course, People screenshotted the feed on Court TV, and that's not Court TV's fault because the court nor the lawyers redacted out the phone numbers, nor did they tell Court TV not to show those exhibits because they had been able to show the photo exhibits and other exhibits. So I don't think that's Court TV's fault. The judge seemed flustered. And then there was more discussion about tech in the courtroom when the court said, sometimes when my microphone's on, they can hear me just talking with my court clerk about walking my dog or whatever. And the court was upset with that. And then they sent the jury out, but sent a piece of paper out with them to ask the jury a question and have each juror answer. We don't know what that question is, but it was a court initiated question, not a jury initiated question. Something is going on here with the live stream and with the technology in court. I will be looking for media reports this evening from reporters in the courtroom to see what happened. Very unusual. And then they broke early. We'll see what the court says on Monday. But the witnesses that testified today were all laying foundation for things that happened. And we got one witness that was on set talking about the fact that Hannah Gutierrez was removing things from the prop truck. However, on cross-examination, it became very clear that that wasn't a serve because it was after police officers had already cleared the scene. Lawnards, y'all are the best community on the internet. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Thank you for being a part of it. For deep dives into the stories that I covered here, you can find them on my YouTube channel at The Emily D. Baker and The Emily Show Podcast. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday. The podcast goes live on Wednesdays. And if you want to stay in the loop with everything I'm doing, receive the fastest notifications out there and get more Law Nerd community, join me at lawnerdapp.com, our free app for iOS and Android. 